Boxing Voice. All right, so we're live with Robert Garcia. And, uh, Robert, you know, to be honest with you, uh, this has got to be the biggest fight of this year. There's been so much, you know, uh, rumors, speculations. Uh, we don't know what gloves you're using. Recently, uh, one of your good friends, Ellie Setback, put out a video that you guys are looking to use the Mexican Power Lock gloves. Have those been approved by none other than Mayweather himself or – who, who has the final say on, on, on which gloves you're going to use, fight man? Look, uh, just like like the the first fight, uh, even after the commission approved the gloves that we wanted to use, uh, it was it was Mayweather's last call. So, so it looks like uh, like you know we're waiting for him to make the call. I think he's got say every last end of a few, a couple of different different uh, gloves that uh, that are approved by commission, but. Uh, I still don't know exactly what uh what we're gonna wear. But I'm I'm training and I'm training, I'm already getting my Donna to get uh getting them used to wearing the uh the power locks because I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. We don't uh you know, we're not we know that the MS is, is just out of the picture, the ray is, is also out of the picture. So so we might end up wearing the the uh the power lock, which is also a good glove, but you know, the first fight my Donna was just not used to it, had never worn it before. This time around, he's going to get training, so we'll be, we'll be good. Now, you know, since there's been so much mention of the gloves, I mean, you as a fighter and trainer yourself, how big of a difference is these gloves? I mean, Mayweather went to the extent of paying $1.5 million not to let Maydana wear them in the last fight. How big of a difference do a set of gloves make? Look, uh, about that one point five, I I really don't don't think that's really what happened. That's a word that what everybody was saying. Honestly, I, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't think that my Dana has told me that that didn't happen. Uh, his manager also told me the same thing. I think that, you know, for a, you know, for a fighter, you know, the caliber of Mayweather, you know, pound for pound and the, and the best ever and all that, for him to be able to go that, that far and pay one to five million, that I would show really, you know, it, it, it that, that wouldn't be the best ever. That's, that's something. Uh, coward man would do, and I really don't believe uh, Mayweather, you know, would do something like that. That you know, to pay 1.5 million dollars is is just you know showing that you know you are so scared that you just don't want to get hit. So I, I really don't believe that. But uh, but you know, he calls the shot. He uh, he is Mayweather. He's the only one in boxing that could get away with all this. You know, even after we have proved that some of his his fighters under his his promotion wear the MX. Opponents have wore the MX. His, you know, his, uh, even the Reyes, you know, uh, uh, the the uh, the fight with Cotto, uh Cotto wore the MX. Uh, Robert Guerrero wore Reyes, and you know, and I just don't understand why Chino can't wear either Reyes or MX. I don't, I don't understand, you know, it's, you know, but uh, but that's him. That's what he does, and uh, and he's the only one that could get away with it. Look, and I and, and I had no intentions of making this uh, interview about gloves, but I just got off the phone with Larry Merchant, and uh, when I when I let him know that you guys were going with the power lock, you know, his first thing was, well, look, no one ever had a problem with the gloves. The only one that felt that there was a problem with the gloves was Mayweather himself, so he knows how they feel. Now, I, I just say that to say that he also mentioned, which is on audio, and I'll be putting it up, but he also mentioned that he heard from pretty good insiders in the sport that Maidana got the 1.5. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I was live at the New York press conference. I asked Maidana myself. He didn't answer it, but, uh, you know, I just took his smile and his smirk as, yeah, he got that money. I mean, of course, you're on the inside, but I just feel like you said, it makes Mayweather look like a coward, so I'm pretty sure the money was given with some sort of asterisk that he couldn't talk about it. But moving forward, your last fight with Maidana and uh, Mayweather, you didn't have a full eight-week training camp. How much of a difference is having him for the entire duration of this training camp going to make for this fight? Look, it, it, it's going to make a big difference. Bro. The, uh, the first time, you know, five weeks, uh, the sparring wasn't enough. The, the rounds of, of mid was, wasn't enough. This time around, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting – Everything done, uh, everything by bed. You know, I'm, I'm writing everything down, and I'm gonna have enough rounds of fine and enough rounds of, of mid work, road work, everything. You know, first time around, he, you know, he was in great shape. I'm not, you know, he was, but 
it did seem like in the later rounds he was fading a little, he was tiring out a little. Uh, his body was a little too heavy. So I think I think this time around, you know, we're gonna maintain the same rhythm that we did the first five, six rounds of the first fight. We're gonna do it for twelve rounds. So I think that should should make a big difference. Now, you know, in life sometimes we have to I guess uh take what we can get and uh, be content with little victories. Is it a little victory for you and Maidana that you at least got a rematch which shows the inclination that Mayweather himself notices and, and respects that it was a tough fight and that the naysayers that say that he won could be right, and this is the reason we're getting a rematch? Do you consider that a victory for you and Maidana? Oh, definitely. Not only for for me and my dad, but for the whole team. You know, just the way we work and what we've done, how how far we've come from from the fire that that actually was thinking of retiring after the Devin Alexander fight to come back and uh, and 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 get the wins that he's got, and then fight, fight Mayweather. You know, the best in, in the world, and and being able to almost pull it off uh, with all those controversy about the gloves and. And all that it just makes us makes us winners, man. You know that's the way we think, and that that's the way we, we that's the way we came out of the ring, and we're still thinking the same way. And I think this fight, this next fight, is going to be you know same thing uh, coming around. You know, same thing. Uh, we don't we we can't uh, we can't say nothing for the judges. You know, they're, they're the ones that score the 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 fight. But for us, it was a win. Just the fact that that uh, now now we're in a rematch. Uh, Mayweather knows. Mayweather knows that uh, the fight was closed. And Mayweather knows that that everybody was at one to the rematch. So that's why you know that's why he gave it to us. You know, I actually was thinking that you know this time around, <coughs> Mayweather's gonna sort of shut everybody up and and let us use the gloves because uh, you know he's a fighter, he's a warrior, he's a, he's, you know. But uh, but you know, I I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, it's, I think that's just not something that we just can't even. Can't even try to demand or try to ask, you know, because we're not, we're not going to be able to use the gloves. Now, uh, in a fighter of Mayweather's caliber, he resembles Mike Tyson in the fact that when he walks into the ring, he has this persona about him. Uh, he, he he gives off intimidation. Fighters come in and their game plan goes out the window. Madonna never really looked at it like I'm fighting the best ever. I'm fighting the top of the the full chain and Floyd Mayweather. He went in there completely disrespectful, both in, in, in body language and in the ring. Are we going to get that same attitude? Because it seems that that attitude is what pushed Mayweather to a brink that we haven't seen since probably Castillo. Definitely, man, definitely. And you know what? In, in the first fight, it was, still, it was still the first time we were facing Mayweather. Maidana still had that question, you know, how good is he? How fast is he? How strong is he? Uh, what, you know, uh, Canelo could have, didn't even try. These guys haven't even haven't been able to do much. You know that was too a, a question for Maidana, for myself. Now that uh, now that we already faced him, now that Maidana knows he doesn't hit hard. Now that Maidana knows he's not as strong as everybody thinks. He's not as 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 fast as as as, as powerful. Then it gives us more confidence. So now you know it's going to be even better. This time Maidana's going to go. In there, knowing that this guy is is is, is not the, the guy that everybody thinks. Now, now, Robert, I know fighters, trainers, especially on this world class stage, you don't ever think ahead. But thinking ahead, there's so much that could possibly go on. If you got the win, would you would you rather a trilogy because it would make history, or would you rather? play the Mayweather role and not give him a rematch and just walk over across the street and face Pacquiao. Look, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure what's in the contract. Maybe there is a third fight if if we if we get the win. But uh, I think if we get the win, especially the way the way my is training, the way I think it could happen, you know, with a with a very impressive uh, knockout, then I don't I don't think Mayweather would win the third fight. But but if it's a close fight and we get the decision and we get the win then, then the third fight would be would make a lot of sense for Mayweather, for for ourselves, for the whole team. But uh, but yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's uh, it's definitely uh something that uh that we've already thought about and uh and uh, will make a lot of sense also. You know, let's let's go let's go over and fight the other big name and uh and 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 then, you know make history. Now, Robert, you got a huge stable, so we've been on 10 minutes. I don't know if you have any more time to touch on any of your other fighters. If not, I can always call back another time. I know, like I said, it's a huge stable. you got a lot of work to do over there. 
Um, so you just Look, let bro, me know. I'm, 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 I'm finishing up with Claire. Uh, you could call me back uh, anytime uh, in the next uh, two hours or so. But right now I'm finishing up with Claire. All right, no problem. But thank you again right, for this time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. The Boxing Voice.